Welcome back to part three of the Camera of Fuse for Extreming Setup View. Uh, where we're going to talk about camera anchors. Let's start by going over what a camera anchor is. So a camera anchor is a location that you can register within a world when you're doing world creation for cinematography and filming reasons to frame various areas. An example here might be that you have a castle that's got an exterior and an interior. You could set up a camera anchor that aimed at the castle's entrance and then a camera anchor that aimed at the castle's interior. And then when your characters walk up to the castle you can be on the exterior camera anchor and then swap to the interior camera anchor without moving the camera manually. They're also useful for uh, various other sort of pieces of content where you want to go between multiple locations on your camera. This will make more sense if I just show you, so let's go ahead. I'm going to hop over in to smooth POV. I've got my private UI on again, so you can see everything that's happening. Over on the left here is the Create Camera Anchor button that I didn't touch before. I'm going to go ahead and push it. Now I'm going to move to the right here, and you'll not see because I can't really get them to show up on the screen. It's interesting that that happens, but uh, there we go. Uh, you'll see that there is a camera anchor here. If I go ahead and select uh, this camera anchor with the developer tooltip here that I've clicked with secondary, you'll now see that there is a bounding box there which indicates that it is there. You guys just can't see it. If I go over to the right hand side of the camera control screen, you'll see that there's like a little uh, marker here. It's just above the OBS icon. And this is the camera icon panel of the camera control screen. You'll see first of all that there's interpolate between anchors. That creates an animation that goes between each an uh, anchor. And there's an interpolation speed, which is how fast it goes between each anchor. And then below that will be a list of anchors in the world. You can see that there's the one right now. That's the one we just created. If I go ahead and click this, you'll see that the camera zooms over to that. I'm still here looking at my camera control UI. We're just in the camera anchor. Let's go back over to smooth POV. As I've got the camera anchor selected, actually I need to go up one. Uh, yep, now we're on the camera anchor. I can move this around precisely using the gizmos if I want. So I could rotate it, up and down, etc. It's not actually up and down, I wanted the red one. There we go. So now we're looking up and I go back to the camera anchor and now we're looking up at the sky. But I can also go ahead and when it's unoccupied, I can uh, just go ahead and grab it and move it around like an object. Like I said, you won't be able to see this. I know it's strange, but it's there. It's green, uh, kind of transparent, like a ghost. Additionally, if I aim my laser at the uh, camera anchor, it will turn white. And then once it's white, I can hit the primary uh, action, which is usually sort of a trigger, and it will come over to there. If you want to exit a camera anchor, then what you need to do is, uh, let me see if I can frame this. You'll see that we're currently on a camera anchor because the camera anchor is green over here. If you want to exit a camera anchor, you'll notice it's also put you into manual mode. So just go ahead and select another mode. So I'm gonna go ahead here and select third person, and we're back to third person, and we're out of that camera anchor. I'm going to show you some of the properties on the camera anchor, including the component that's responsible for creating the camera anchor, just so that you know how it works. So we're going to go ahead and again select the camera anchor using the inspector, uh, the developer tooltip even, and open inspector on it. And you'll see that we're on the visual now. What you want to do is go up using the big fat arrow, and then you'll get to the camera anchor here, which is the root of the camera anchor. Right at the bottom here, you'll see the interactive camera anchor uh, component. On here are a number of fields which you can use to affect the camera's usage. So here we've got the override route, which is where the uh, camera will be stored when it is on the camera anchor. I'm going to show this one to you. It's a little bit challenging due to filming whilst recording how filming works, but uh, there we go. So I've over, uh, I've set the camera into the uh, camera anchor. Let me get rid of the gizmo here so you can see. And now you'll see under the root object here is the camera. So the camera has been parented to that root object. So if I return things to some sense of normality, you'll see that's the override route and it's there. So that's where the camera will get parented to. That's useful if you've got sort of other components or parts of the camera that you want to kind of control where it's being parented to. Beneath that is field of view. This will override the field of view of the camera when it enters the camera anchor. This is useful if you have framing issues at the shot and you want to sort of frame things differently. Beneath that is highlighted and in use, these are for sort of logics or components to look at to see if the camera is highlighted. If it's highlighted, it means someone is pointing at it with their laser. If it says in use, it means that there is a camera inside it. You can always create a camera anchor using the uh, create camera anchor button here. And it's how I recommend you do it as it sets up the nice displays for you. But you can also create one manually. To illustrate what you might do in the real world before we create one manually though, I'm going to set my camera to manual. I'm going to bring it over here so it's in, oh, this is going to be, Another fantastically difficult thing to record again. Um, okay, uh, so I've got the camera over here on the uh, balcony. I'm going to go ahead and hit create camera anchor. And I'm going to run inside a little bit. It's just him me go off screen here. Again, so apologize for the randomness of this video. It's very difficult to record whilst um, recording, if that makes sense. I'm going to hit create camera anchor here. So now you see I've got three camera anchors. 
um, and they're all in positions where I've manually positioned the camera, but that might be a little bit confusing to look at. So what we can actually do is rename camera anchors. So there is a camera anchor here again, you guys can't see it. So we're gonna go ahead and inspect it, go up one level to camera anchor, and I can change this name to potato. Actually, let's, 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 let's be more proper. This is the outside camera. So we've got outside. There we go. And then let's go inside. Again, there's one here that you guys can't see, but it's there, I assure you. Now we can go ahead and name this one inside. Cool. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and um, down here you'll see that that display is updated. So it updates with the name of the camera anchor. So you'll see that we've got one, which is the camera anchor we just created. That's the default one. Two, which is outside, which renamed, and three, which is inside. So I can go ahead and say outside, and you'll see that it zooms off to the outside camera. Let me get rid of those uh, gizmos for you. And then we can go inside with the inside camera anchor, and we're back looking at me. So uh, let's also turn off the interpolation, and you'll see it does a smooth cut. You can also do a fast uh, interpolation. Well, I don't reckon they're doing that too fast because it's really snappy. But it's up to you as a filmmaker. Default value on that one is two. Let me just go ahead and type two rather than scrolling this around. That's it for camera anchors. Um, you can go ahead and hide that visual such that it doesn't have any effect on the world and they can kind of be transit, uh, transitory and just there, uh, which means that you can, you know, create, if you're doing a cinematic world, you can create them in, in specific places and just leave them there. You can turn off the grabbable on them and then they won't be movable and then they'll only be visible if people are using the camera anchors and can see them. Uh, that's it for camera anchors. If you have any questions on this or any questions on any of the other content I've shown you, do let me know. I apologize for the difficulty recording this. Um, that's just because recording whilst I'm recording is, is quite challenging. If you want me to cover anything else on recording or setups like that, uh, please do let me know. I've also been thinking of doing a sort of general tutorial strategy sort of video that talks about how I make them from a, a more sort of uh, theory-based level rather than a technical here's the buttons I push level. Do let me know if that'll be interesting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.